Hi, today I'm going to be installing a new trigger on my 170R. Uh, if you had a chance to watch my review, you'll, uh, one of the things I didn't like about it was the uh, blade trigger. I didn't care for that very much, um, so I want to change that out. And what I got is a Super Stanchy Customs um, deuce trigger, because that's what I like. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install that. So let's get into it. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to remove your bolt, set that off to the side, and then we're going to remove the front grip, and we're going to take the grips off. And you definitely want to have a nice clean workspace to work in. You don't want to lose anything. You want to keep everything together. I always like to loosen my screws with the shorter end. You don't want to use the ball end. They have, sometimes you can break that little ball on the end of it and then you break it inside your screw. But once you get them loose, then you can put your ball end in there. It'll come out a lot quicker. So it also be the way to do it. If you wanted to change your grips, you would just take those four screws out and then your grips just literally just slide right off if you wanted to change them. Um, I do not want to change them on mine, but that is how you would do it. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to take this screw out here, and there's one up top of here that you want to take out. Again, you want to use that smaller end just to break them loose, and you can use your ball end. them out, set them off to the side. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of just roll this forward and pull the body off and then you can just set that off to the side. The nice thing with this design is there's no wires you have to worry about up here. Um, you do want to be careful. Um, you don't want to pinch any wires, but there should be enough play. There should be enough room in here for you to do that. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to lose this gasket. So what I like to do is just pull that off there. That way if you're moving your marker around, it doesn't fall out and you lose it. Although there probably, there is one in the overing kit, I'm sure, but you still don't want to lose it. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to pull out this little this screw here for the trigger. And this is just your trigger pin. So you want to pull that out. And then up top of here, there's two screws up here you have to remove. And this piece we're about to take out is actually your, this is what gives you your spring tension. And all you gotta do is just slide your wires over a little bit and just kind of rotate this right out. And that, that just gives you a little bit of spring tension on your trigger, that's all that's doing. And you just pull it up. And then your trigger will come right out the top. And again, you just slide your wires over, being careful not to pinch them. 
and that's what takes your trigger out. And then what you're gonna do is this, this part here is the part you're not gonna be replacing. You're literally just replacing this part up front. So back in behind there, there is another screw you gotta take out. Uh, the new my new trigger comes with a screw so i'm going to use the screw that came with it and i like to save all my old pieces because you never know when you might need them for something so i have a parts list parts bin of all my old stuff that i took out of my markers The main reason for changing your trigger is, you know, for the same reason I'm changing mine. I didn't like the way it felt. So for me, um, this is the best, you know, I didn't like that trigger. So to me, uh, that's what you're doing. You're changing it because you don't like the way the trigger feels. And you know, there's other triggers out there that somebody might like a little bit better than this one. This is just happens to be the one that I like. So you're going to put your trigger on there and then you're going to tighten it back up. And then once you get it, just give it a little snug. You don't want it to come loose. And that is the new trigger on the shoe. And then you're gonna put it back in from the top. And you definitely just wanna, the biggest thing is, you know, these wires, you can move them around a little bit. You just definitely don't wanna pinch one because they go up front, up to your eyes, into the, uh, they're the, essentially they're the breach sensors are right here. And what they call it, they call it a light tunnel, and it just shoots from one to the other, the light, and that's what sees your ball when it's down in your barrel and lets you know that there is a, a ball in there and that you can shoot. And then before I put that pin in there, I'm gonna put this back in there. And again, all of this stuff should just slide right in. No issues, shouldn't be tight, shouldn't be bound, binding up on anything. And that's that. And then we're gonna put these two screws in the top. What I like to do before I tighten anything down completely is just put everything in. Um, you wanna leave it, I like to leave it kind of just loose. Um, you wanna make sure everything functions before you go and put it all, tighten everything down and put it all back together. Just in case you have to make some minor adjustments. And then you're gonna put your trigger pin back in. Just kind of kind of try it out make sure it functions the way you want it to make sure everything feels good and as long as everything feels good and you're happy with the way everything is then you can go ahead and tighten everything down starting with your trigger pin and this stuff doesn't have to be like super tight you want to be careful you don't strip out your housings and stuff like that. I mean, it's just an aluminum housing. If you over tighten it, you'll strip it out and then you won't be able to tighten down the screws. Okay. So now we're gonna put the top part back on. What I like to do is just kind of look at it, look it over, make sure you didn't pinch any of your wires. Make sure they're still laying in there nice. So like I said, if you pinch one of these wires, it'll be, you know, that won't function right. And your brand new, nice, you know, your new marker will be all damaged and you'll have a bad day at the field. And this is probably gonna be a part most places aren't gonna stock, so. And then you're gonna take your 
gasket, put that back in there. Make sure it's on there good. Take the top of your barrel and that is just gonna slip right down on there like that. screws back in. And there again, you just want to leave these loose, get them, get them both in, get them both started before you tighten them completely down. Are in, then you can snug them up. And then you can put your bolt back in if you want to at this point. And the front grip on, then we'll put the rear grips on. Same with these, you know, just kind of get them started, get them snug. You don't want to tighten them up the whole way just yet. And then once they're started, and you just go ahead and go back over them and snug them all up. Everything's new, it doesn't want to come apart that easy. It doesn't want to come out. And that is it. Uh, that is your video on how to install your new trigger. Uh, it's really that simple. Um, so we're going to take it outside and give it a shot. All right, so here we are. We're outside. We're just on my front porch right now. Um, I'm just going to shoot into the weeds just to kind of get a feel for the trigger, see how I like it. Uh, it is getting a little bit dark, so, but uh, we're going to air it up, see how it feels. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to walk. I definitely like the way it feels better. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you find any of this information useful, be sure to give it a like and uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my latest content.